Hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel in this short video I want to review the Usborne Illustrated Fairy Tales book we have this for our four-year-old daughter um, we've been reading it so much we got this on amazon.com by the way I think that's where we got it anyway you can get it on amazon.com for about 24 bucks and this is probably our most used book we read her story every night or two stories and she has a lot of books but this is probably her favorite one it contains quite a few stories in it let me go to the table of contents here what do we have three five, so it looks like we have ten stories uh, sleeping beauty emperor nightingale beauty and the beast we really like the dragon painter um, elves and the shoemaker is her favorite um, pretty much all of them we read though but it's a really good book I have to say um, you can almost see I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing but the binding is starting to it feels like I don't know get kind of feels like the binding starting to fall apart a little bit you can almost see the glue here it's a little bit of separation sorry just trying to get our zoom back right all right there we are okay um, yeah, it feels like it's kind of maybe starting to, to come apart just a little bit. A little bit of failure of the binding. I don't know if that's because, you know, if that's saying something about the quality of the book or if that's just saying something that we read it probably at least three, four times per week for many weeks on end now. Um, yeah, really, we really enjoy this book. has great illustrations. That's, that's one of my favorite things about it is the pictures are, are really nice. A lot of them are very colorful. Um... They're simple stories. They usually take maybe 10 minutes to read. Um, some of them are a bit longer than others. Some of them are a bit shorter. Um, but they're they're nice. There's nothing, I don't think, there, I don't think there's anything. This is, you can see the binding right opens right to this one because it's the one we read the most, the, El, the Elves and the Shoemaker. I don't think there's anything inappropriate for, uh, for little kids, which we have had before, um, where we thought it was like a kid's book, and it was, but it's kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know if I want them to see that, to her to see that type of stuff sometimes. This one, particular, this, uh, you know, they do have where <laughs> the um, the wolf eats the uh, little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother, and then they cut the wolf's belly open, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Um, I mean, then he has stitches with stones in it, but. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. We really do like this book. We read it almost daily, it seems like. Here it says $19.99, so maybe you can get it at a better price somewhere. I did see it on Amazon for like $24. Bucks. You know, there's a lot of places you can buy these books. I'll put the ISBN number and stuff in the description down below if you want to check it out. It uh, seems like it's nice quality. It's it's a, a hard book, hardcover book, but pages are glossy, high quality. Um, ha you know, it's hardcover, but it, it has like a... A bit of a softness to it so some kind of foam maybe very thin foam underneath it so it's, it's it's a nice feeling book decently weighted and I think it comes with that bookmark too which we sometimes use let me see yeah I think this bookmark comes with it too um, yeah I'd say it's probably for I'd say four and five because some of the stories if like a three-year-old may not really follow them completely of course they can listen to them and stuff but um yeah maybe three four five six our daughter started listening to when she was probably four and she's about to be five and she still loves it so definitely in that four five range for sure maybe three maybe six but um yeah that's about it thanks everybody for watching see you in the next one